with Dr. John Brownstein to discuss some of the previous keynotes. So John, we just heard a really powerful keynote from Lloyd Dean. That was one of the most moving sessions, at least for me so far. Lloyd boldly stated the impact of institutional racism on access and equality of care. He mentioned the stats that no longer could be denied and asked the industry to do better. So what stood out to you in that session? Yeah, I mean, Lloyd Dean gave such a powerful presentation. I mean, this idea that equity of access to care, you know, disparities in health outcomes, it's not a new issue. The virus didn't actually create these issues, but they have brought these issues into the spotlight and really are providing some incredible attention to these, you know, major, major issues that are out there. I mean, he discusses this need to, to think about healthcare in a holistic way. That's clearly something that we're seeing a major shift in, right? It's not just about the care you receive in the clinical setting, it's community resources, housing, transportation. So it's the much broader view. Um, he also sort of touches on racism as a public health issue. Right, calling out racism as this crisis that we need to be thinking about just alongside this pandemic. And so, you know, thinking about how to how to consider and address this issue um, is something that we all need to be focused on. And I think partly it's because of his incredible leadership that, you know, these conversations are now happening. They're happening across sea levels and they need to be. Um, and they're becoming more frank, more honest. And so pushing from just a you know, discussion um, to understanding root causes and sort of transforming how we address these issues, these deep seated issues across this country. So um, incredibly inspiring talk. And you know, of course, you know, the move towards some fundamental change is, is hopefully happening. Mm -hmm. Very well said. Lloyd's an incredible leader. And at least it gave me hope that with people like him at the helm, our industry can hopefully really enact some change in the near future. So, okay, so let's switch gears a little bit. The, the next session we heard after Lloyd came from the Surgeon General, Jerome Adams. He spoke about how the US has driven the COVID positivity rate down to less than 5% of over 120 million tests. And he strongly feels we're trending in the right direction. He mentioned that they are opening 70% of new testing sites in socially vulnerable areas. So it seems like a pretty rosy picture of testing, but we know that there are still some issues. So what do you think the current state of testing is now? Yeah, I mean, listen, testing has always been the sort of major issue around this uh, pandemic, right? We didn't have testing available at the beginning. Um, and right now, the, the kind of volume of testing at home is sort of just has yet to be uh, available. And yes, we've seen improvements, um, but I don't know if we could paint such a really optimistic picture. We know there's been challenges, especially for a wide range of those who are underinsured or, or minorities have not had the access they needed to the right testing. And so there's been massive disparities um, around this pandemic and we've actually published several papers on this topic. And so as much as it's exciting to see the volume of testing, there's been reporting challenges, inconsistencies, and you know the at-home tests are exciting, but they're going to be a real headache as far as the rollout and the reporting burden that's going to be placed on individuals. So yet to be seen what you know that level of testing will mean for our response to the pandemic. And then just one last point: um, testing has been so important, but as we know, testing is not the only strategy. Of course, as mm -hmm. evidenced by the super spreading event that happened at the White House that you know, relied solely on testing. Um, you know, we recognize that that's part of a multi-layered strategy, masking, social distancing. And so it's not right to just be solely focused on our ability to detect the virus in individuals. So lots more work to be done if we're gonna ever get out of this uh, pandemic in a timely fashion. Yep, I agree. And I think the Surgeon General called it the, four, the three Ws. So it was um, well said on his part too. Uh, so that was an amazing group of sessions. We're not done yet. We'll be back with John in just a bit. So during this break, we hope you'll do some networking and visit our exhibitor directory. We'll hear a new group of exciting announcement sessions, as well as watch our health startup pitch competition. As I mentioned earlier, the audience will have a chance to vote for one of our winners live. So please tune in. John and I will be back later to recap more sessions. See you soon. Mm -hmm.